Good evening to you. I wanted to give a special shout out to the kindergarten class at Mayfair here in EBR Parish. Such a bright group. I, I mean, it was about 45 students. We had a great time talking about high versus low pressure, different weather phenomena, and they already knew a bunch. Read a book to them about a little lightning bolt named Sally, just so they know to get indoors. If they, if they hear thunder, they know the term or the saying, when thunder roars, go indoors. And we did a weather experiment, the cloud in a bottle, talking about high and low pressure. And with high pressure, as we know, we typically have pretty quiet weather, although it is going to be hot. We're keeping rain chances out of the forecast going forward, but our temperatures are really going to crank up. So upper 80s, lower 90s for the next couple of days. Some mid 90s out there as well, and it feels like the triple digits right now. Mid 90s, upper 90s, and then closer to the coast feels like the triple digits. I do think Thibodeau's running a bit on the high side, likely have some higher dew points than what they're dealing with right now, but all in all with dew points in the 70s, it's going to make things feel even hotter. So the swampy feel certainly today. Going forward Wednesday through Friday, however, we will have dew points in the 60s, and so it's still going to be sticky, still going to be in the 90s, but high pressure again going to keep us relatively quiet. Saturday and Sunday, dew points climb once again, so it's going to feel much hotter than it will be. But the good news is our temperatures are going to be in the 80s instead of the 90s and rain chances return. I know it's the weekend and we have rain chances. Go figure 90 degrees. We have sun. We have clouds out there. It's very steamy and temperatures will likely stay in the 80s at least until about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight and then overnight will fall into the upper 60s and lower 70s. But once the sun comes up tomorrow, temperatures will crank back up lower to mid 90s, about 93 in Denham Springs, Napoleonville and closer to the coast, maybe about 89. 90 degrees Plaquemine 92, but it's going to feel much hotter out there. Roughly about 97 to 99 is what the feels like temperatures will be tomorrow. Sun and clouds, but mostly sunny skies. No issues with any rain, but we could have some areas of patchy fog by Thursday morning, waking up to the 60s and 70s once again. And we're right back up in the 90s with some high clouds passing through the sky. As for Friday, that's going to be the transitional day. We'll likely have more clouds in place, maybe a shower, but it's really not until the afternoon, evening and Saturday night and Sunday when we'll have the best chance for some rain as a cold front starts to move into the region as well as a passing disturbance in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's not going to be a weekend washout. If anything, the best chance for rain will come on Sunday. Here's a look at the GFS model. Of course, as we get closer, we'll be able to fine tune the forecast, but we'll have scattered to numerous showers and storms at times, and we could actually start our Sunday off with some showers and storms in place, and some of these storms could be strong and produce some really heavy rain. So that's something we're watching for. That cold front may just stall itself out over the northern Gulf of Mexico, and that would lead to lingering rain chances at least until the middle half of next week. And as I mentioned, we could pick up uh, a couple inches of rain, two to three plus near the coast, one to two for our area with locally higher amounts. So again, this is something we're going to be watching as we head into the weekend. But until then, be sure to take those proper safety precautions when it comes to the heat. Don't forget about your fur babies. Look before you lock. Never leave children or pets in the car. And of course, keep an eye out on yourself and others. Stay cool, stay hydrated.